Okay, so this video is for if you are a little bit stuck on question two and question three. Um, if you watch it before you do the questions, I'm going to give you lots of ideas um, that you will be able to use for your answers. So question two is about what was the real Ozymandias like? And hopefully from the work we've already done on Kanye West, um, also you should be able to work out that he was quite an arrogant man and you might want to say that you think he's arrogant arrogant because he built a statue of himself, which is quite an arrogant thing to do. You might also want to talk about the fact that he was clearly powerful because he was a ruler of Egypt. Um, and you could also talk about the fact that he was quite a cold and cruel leader as well. That might be something um, that you um, think is something you could write down about Ozymandias. And also there are lots of other bits of information in the videos you've already seen. Um, for question three, you've got three quotes from the poem, and I want you to think about what does that show about the sort of man the real Ozymandias was. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but I'm going to give you some clues. So the first one, a sneer of cold command. So this is talking about the expression on the face of the statue, but it's also talking about what the real ruler Ozymandias was like. So think about what the word cold could tell you about someone. If someone's described as cold, what does that mean? And command is to do with ordering people around. So what might that word tell you? Uh, B, the quote is king of kings. Now, this is part of the inscription on the pedestal of the statue. So remember that Ozymandias um, organised for this statue to be built about himself. And on the bottom of the statue, there's a pedestal. And on the pedestal is written um, a message from Ozymandias. And in part of that, he describes himself as king of kings. What does that tell you about what Ozymandias um, was like as a person? And question C, look on my work, see mighty and despair. This is another part of the inscription on the pedestal. So words from Ozymandias. Look on my work, see mighty and despair. So what that translates as, look at everything I have done, God and despair. So why would he be telling God to look at everything that he's done as a ruler? Is he trying to compare himself to God? Does he think he's worse than God? Does he think he's better than God? If you were to think that you were better than God, what would that say about you as a person? So there's some ideas there that can help you.